This is UFO author John G. Fuller of Western Connecticut, who published The Incident at Exeter in June of 1966 and The Interrupted Journey later that same year. An earlier video on this channel covered the statements he made on The Merv Griffin Show in July of 1966. Here is a sample. His name is John Fuller. Fuller, he's the author. We've invited him to come on and tell us his side of the story. So would you all greet Mr. John Fuller. I think they landed in a band. Do you believe the story that they are manned by space creatures? Or? Um, well, I'll say this. Uh, I'm very cautious. I'm a very cautious uh, journalist. I don't make rash statements. I say that there is overwhelm overwhelming evidence that they exist. I, I think this has to be accepted now. What? Because uh, that the Uf UFOs exist. Right. That's crap. Uh, that I don't think can long, any longer be denied. You had Dr. Heinick, the head of the uh, Department of right. uh, Astronomy at Northwestern. Uh, he uh, made a statement to the Optical Society of America not long ago that he had to admit that the evidence was so overwhelming that he was bowed down by it. So I think there's no question that they exist. I think the theory that holds up the most, with the least holes in it, after you consider everything, is the interplanetary theory. But I can't go beyond that because, uh, you know, I don't, no, no one landed on my line yet. What did you see, though? Can you describe oh, yes, it? I was gonna, <laughs> What, what, you saw, yeah. what I saw was a jet fighter plane chasing a dull orange disk from the north west to the southeast at four to six thousand feet, moving at approximately four to five hundred miles an hour. Um, and the disk was about five plane lengths in front of the jet. And um, the, we kept it in sight for about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, as this luminous disk moved in front of the plane. I, I can't help feeling, Merv, that there is a remote possibility that this could be the biggest news break in history. I don't say that. I say it's a possibility. Two years after Fuller had made these statements, Congress was holding a symposium on unidentified flying objects, while the Condon Committee was preparing its foregone conclusion report that would enable the Air Force to shut down Project Blue Book. John Fuller wasn't going to accept this without a fight, and by the week of 8 June 1969, his book Aliens in the Skies had ripped both Edward Condon and the United States Air Force with the laser-like precision of detailed facts. In tribute to Fuller and the scientists he quoted to make his case, we'll be reviewing the salient points from Aliens in the Skies over the next few days.